Good day everyone and welcome back into Prehistoric Kingdom. So I built up this big old park just to showcase the new update 11. So this is a largely management focused update where we've got a bunch of new facilities such as our expeditions, our research center and our staff centers as well as loading bays where resources are delivered to the park that give us all our sorts of things like our produce that we can now grow on site. So we've got all different uh, foods that we can grow. We've got the the fruits, the plants, we've got the fish. Uh, we've also got a mixed mixed feeder where you can grow both the insects, the well, the insects, the fruit, the veggies, the meat and the fish and all that sort of stuff. We've got the compost piles here where poop is delivered and turned into compost to grow plants. And we've also got our little meat um, farm here. I I actually do hope that we get to see a little animal in here of some kind, maybe like a pig, given how this is sort of designed. Pig, cattle, sheep. And we've got our insects. Well, we can see insects. These are some big bugs, though. Um, we've got the worms and what look to be some sort of beetles. I don't know what's in there. Um, we've also got, whoa, centipedes. Damn. <laughs> yeah, well, it's going to be really cool seeing what else they can do with this sort of growing your own food. Sort of mechanic we've also got storage where we can put all these different uh things that are delivered to the park keep them in storage for a long period of time and as you may have noticed we have staff members so these guys are our laborers so they'll deliver stuff across the park such as the food to and uh, all, all the merchandise and all that sort of stuff to the guest facilities which i have over here in the main plaza so laborers will deliver their stuff in here to fill up the stuff to fill up the resources able to be sold in these facilities, and yeah, got all sorts of stuff. And so there are also two new species, well, technically three, added in this update. So here we have our Plateosaurus. Don't know why the laborers are taking the stuff through here. Imagine this was a carnivore habitat. But here we have Plateosaurus trosagensis. So this is the Plateosaurus that we're probably most familiar with for Prehistoric Kingdom. And in general, as it is our much larger animal. I'm just going to turn down that music. That is a bit high. Um, there we go. So we've got our beautiful Annabelle here. Oh, whoops. That's the cinematic. I just want to follow her around. But... Um, yeah, so we've got this skin, which is, I think, called the Basilisk skin. And, oh, wow, that's a cool animation I haven't seen, where they'll dig in the ground. So Platyosaurus is both a herbivore and an insectivore. As you can see, they're readily feeding from our termite mounds. And this is our other skin, which I can't remember the name of it. Let's check the animal nursery, see what it says. So open animal nursery, Platyosaurus. So this is blind worm. Or lindworm. Certainly not a word I've heard before. But then we have our second species of Platyosaurus, Gracilis, which has the Jaculus skin. So these Gracilis are much smaller than the bigger ones. And yeah, you can see a very clear difference here. These guys were both found in Europe, just in di very different parts. So potentially the smaller species was adapted to a more confined environment, whereas the larger animal was better adapted for the much a much more readily available environment in terms of resources. Yeah, these guys are really cool. So we've also got keepers that will deliver food to the feeders. Um, we'll just have to find out where some of those guys are. We also do have the caterers. I think that's what they're called. So they'll be behind the desks. Oh, uh, where are they? Yeah, so here we go. Here's our caterers who will be behind the front desk at many of our food and drink facilities, as well as our merchandise shops. So let's have a look in our gift shop and see if we've got um, any of these caterers yet. There we go, right behind the desk there. I do love this gift shop. The gift shops and restaurants are such a cool addition. All these little plushies. I, I never, I actually think I forgot to take, take a good look at these. But um, yeah, there's our restaurant. So our second... Um, full species. Was this bamboo? Oh no. Hang on. I can't tell. But this is Lealnosaura.
very cool fact, Nigel. But yeah, you can see this guy is perfectly adapted to a much colder environment than what I've keep what than what I'm keeping it in here. I do love the plants though. This looks fantastic. But you can see how well covered Lealnosaura is in terms of its feathers. So we've got feathers on the feet, we've got the massive tail. And I've seen uh Lealnosaura often compared to something like a snow leopard, where it'll have the um fluffed up feet and the long tail to use as sort of like a scarf while sleeping. But you can also see that this animal has bright red eyes like an indom Ooh, went inside the head there. Bright red eyes, very similar to that of like the Indominus Rex. Or actually, in a more modern case, we have uh, a duck called a loon, which also have red eyes much like this. So this is one of our skins. I can't remember what it's called, but we do have some other skins. I think that's actually from the same animal. Um, that's our male spirit. Uh, I can see another skin over here. So this is another one with Caligan. Look at that skin. So it's, it seems the skins also do change the eyes. So these eyes are much browner or almost amber colored. Actually, no. Nah, they're just brown eyes. <laughs> but yeah, you can see this guy has a much whiter coat with more details of red. But there is another skin, which I think is called Equinox, which is one of the most colorful. I think this is the female of that skin. Yep. Hello, sweetie. i listen to that. They do sound somewhat like ducks, actually. Those little quacks and chirps. But you can see what I mean about that big feathered tail. Let's see if we can find a male of the Equinox um, variety. Um, so that's, I think that's another female of the Equinox. Yep. Uh, where are you? Oh, right. I can just click shift to go fast around. I, I think I found my favorite biome as well, the coastal biome. I think it just looks so phenomenal. It, it's beautiful how thick you can make this vegetation. It, it's probably one... Yeah, it's definitely my favorite environment in the game. It can be so diverse in its appearance. I also really just like tree ferns. Tree ferns, I think, are just one of the coolest plants you, that, that are around today. Ah, here we go. Here's Rex. Our male Equinox Lealnosaura. Got that red cap and that yellow nose. And a bit of a red collar too. But yeah, this is... I think this might be one of my favourite skins. But you can see the... I think the tail's a lot fluffier on this one. It's either... It's between the Equinox skin and this one. Um, that Gizmo is wearing right now. That is either my favourite. I love the white. Oh wow, we've got per perfect... All, all three skins in one place. So we've got this one here, we've got that one, and this one. And they do certainly have um, different levels of fluff on the tail. This one probably has the thinnest. Um, you have probably got the next um, short, the next shortest after that. And then you've got this one, which is just massive. Look at that. That's insane there. So I think we'll leave Ali on the Sora and go check out the rest of the park and see if we can find other things. So another feature that we have is the Paleopedia, where you can search up different dinosaurs like our Acrocanthosaurus. Or let's actually go look at one of our new species. So let's find Platysaurus trostogensis, which you can see right there. And Leonosaura is going to be in here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Um, what else was in this update? Uh, just trying to think. Might just open Steam up and have a look at some of the other main features. So we've got our two dinosaurs, the staff and logistics. So you can hire your staff and all that. Um, so a thing, uh, ah, yes, the, the guests have also been updated. So if you go look at the guest, they are looking very different and more dynamic somewhat. Yeah, so that the guests are ah, here. We go. Here's a keeper. So this is Alice. So she is on her way to clean up some dino dung. And how about we go have a look at some of the other dinosaurs we have in here? We've got our Edmontosaurus and Nectans, our Triceratops Prorsus. Uh, I don't think I've got any other dinosaurs in this habitat, but I was really just having fun with the with the plant brush. Uh, in here, we've got our Brachiosaurus and our Camarasaurus, Stirachosaurus, Parasaurolophus, 
our Lambiosaurus and our Dryosaurus. So there's a, and we've also got an albino uh, Dryo here. Yeah, so I don't know if I really showcased the genetic mutations when they were introduced, but there you go. And we've also got um, one of the animals from a previous update, the Spinosaurus. There you are, living in the beautiful wetland habitat. I think I think the wetland biome is another one of my favorites. Really like it. Uh, and then we've also got some Velociraptors living in here. So they're currently all having a bit of a feed. Just chilling around. Got some micro raptors in Avery. And then over here we've got two T-Rexes. Like we can't have a park without T-Rex. I think this is just a paler um, variant. I don't know. But yeah, looking absolutely fantastic. So let's see if there's any other features that I've missed. Uh, let's have a look in Steam. So we've got the excavations and research. Um, the UI overhaul with the Paleopedia and stuff. The logistics. Ah, fences and gates. So the gates come in all different styles. So you got this one here. And I think if I open it up, we should be able to have a look at a few others. So we've got this small gate, which lets you get into the much smaller habitats for animals, like a protoceratops or something. Then next smallest, which I think is the one that goes onto here. Yep. If we find the gate to this paddock. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, so something else I didn't mention is you can change the styles. So if you click down here, you can get a concrete and then one that looks more appropriate for, say, a mesh. And I think this this uh, fence is new because I don't remember seeing this chain link fence before. So I think that's a new addition. I don't know if there are any other new, new fences in here. All of them look pretty familiar to me from previous updates. So like... Uh, this is from our Stone Age update, and so is this wood. But honestly, I really like this this wooden fence. I think it's one of the best wooden fences we got. And if you ever really wanted to, you could recreate Prehistoric Park with it, really. As this sort of fence here is somewhat similar to the fence that we had in Prehistoric Park. Just a bit more heavy duty. But yeah, so let's see... If there's anything else. Ah, backstage props. I haven't actually taken a look at that yet. I'll see if I can find them. So, props. Here we go. So, I think... I don't know if there's a necessary filter. Uh, tools. Ah, here we go. Backstage. So, we've got a little barrel here. Uh, we've also got the barrel liquid that sits in these cylinders. Oh, that's a bollard. <laughs> I thought that... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so bollards are sort of like those poles that you see in the middle of a path. We've also got a bowl. We've got some eskies. Uh, some crates of various kinds. Oh, whoops. There's a wooden one. We've got some buckets. So you can really create like a proper staff area. You really have to click them too to actually get them. And we also got boxes of uh, various kinds, cardboard. Oh, whoops. You really do have to click on them to select. We've got a traffic cone and a caution sign. Even got whiteboards. Look at that. And that's one you'd probably stick on the wall. There's a hose. Wow, it's very loud around the guests. Even got a shipping container. Look at that. And a. Wooden crate. Uh, we've also got some ladders, uh, wheelbarrows, and various other tools like these shovels. I think this is a yeah. That's another shovel, a rake, a broom. There's a hose that usually is hung on a wall. We've got a shipping pallet. Uh, and I think some of these. Yeah, I think we've. Down the end. Oh, though, there we go. Tool hooks and some shelves as well. So all this sort of stuff can be placed in a backstage area. We've even got a sink. Oh, wow, that's cool. I think Plant Zoo needs to get some of this stuff in. But yeah, we've got all sorts of stuff that you can place to make a proper backstage area. I think that's really cool. So 
I think that's everything. The, it's a it's a very hefty update, and a lot of the um, functionality is really with all this management stuff. So it's going to be really interesting to if you were to try it in challenge mode, how all this stuff would interact. So excavations you can see all over the map. So here you'll find our Platyosaurus, that's our Gracilis, and our Trostogensis. So they were both in Germany. But I wonder what was different. There's our Archaeopteryx. Uh, so this is as far south as Leonosaurus found. I thought it would be found one on Antarctica itself. But I think we'll have to wait to get some Antarctic dinosaurs for that. So we've got it at the Eumeralia forma Formation. Huh, sounds familiar. I don't know if I've been there or not. Maconda. I think they actually use real pictures too of the, the formations themselves. Oh, who was in Pakistan? Ah, um, the uh, Parasaratherium. And then we got all this sort of stuff. And our Psittacosaurus. I think there's a Parasaurus there. Yep. And there was another one in here. Uh, yeah, there you go. Juxia. So that's very cool. How you've now got several teams. So you've got Team Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and Echo. Just like the Raptors almost. Um, if only there was a Team Blue, then you got it all. How are we having a dung problem in here? I've got dung beetles lying all over the place. But, uh, oh wow, that is... Whee! <laughs> yeah, as Ian Malcolm would say, that is one big pile of dino feces. Except that last part, he didn't say that. <laughs> I might just get that so it looks better. There you go. So, that is update 11. Lots of different things that I could go into more detail about. And I think I'll just leave you with our swimming spino. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this video and are really excited about what uh, Update 11 brings to the game, I will certainly love to cover what else is there. And certainly leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And, yeah, when Update 12 is properly covered in potentially the next dev diary, I don't know, we might get more news on the Ankylosaurus and the Apatosaurus and Brontosaurus that are coming in that update and various other things that are in that um, patch as well. But as for now, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.